let's make some hamburger steaks. So first I started by making some breadcrumbs. I didn't have any breadcrumbs, so I toasted a couple of slices of bread. Didn't matter if you use the heel or not. Um, it's going to be crumbs. So just toast it and then grind it up. I mean, you know, breadcrumbs. Ta-da! Then, uh, that's about, uh, I guess, half a pound of ground beef and an egg and some Worcestershire sauce and a little bit of ketchup and some onion and garlic powder. There we go. And guess what's next? We well, stir it up. And just stir it up until it's all stirred up. You know, stir it up. Then form it into patties. And put it in a hot cast iron skillet. And burn it on one side and flip it over. And burn it on the other. Um, the uh, ketchup makes it uh, get dark quicker. So that's why it looks that dark. But it's good. And uh, after you scrape those out of the pan, then you can throw some onions in there and uh, cook those down. Get all of them. And you know, just keep throwing all the onions in there until you get them in there. It might take you a minute because you may have been full. Oh, you can throw a little oil in there too. Why not? And just let them cook. And cook. And cook some more. Don't stir around a little bit. Why not? And just let them cook. And then put a little bit of cooking wine in there. If you want to. And then clove garlic. Two cloves of garlic. And yeah, continue letting it cook. Got all that caramelized goodness. And then throw some beef broth in there. That's about a cup and a half. And uh, let's keep stirring it up. And I added a little bit of ketchup. And a couple of squirts. bit of mustard. Just plain yellow mustard. And mix that all up. And once you get that all mixed up, then you can make a uh, slurry out of um, cornstarch and water. And uh, pour that in there to thicken it up. Make a gravy sauce. Is it a sauce or a gravy? I don't know. Anyway, it is what it is. And just let it cook down. And we can watch all of the cooking it down. And then there's the cornstarch. And water slurry. And let that cook. It thickens up, and you can add your meat back to your pan, turn it all on low, cover it up, and let it sit well, around 20 minutes or so. And you get that. And you can make you some mashed potatoes, put it on a plate, and eat it. That's pretty much what I did. Daddy even ate some.